Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader. I'd like to welcome you to the AI Holly in Market update for Tuesday, June the 26th, 2018. Well, after a uh, crazy day yesterday, let's go ahead and take a look and see what happened uh, with these markets today. Uh, let's start with the IWM, and you can see here that uh, you know we had a nice uh, gain throughout the day. Then we kind of uh, based and consolidated for the rest of the day. But if we look at it on the daily, it shows possibly a little concern. couple things. First, we have an inside bar formation going here. It was a nice green candle, and the IWM was the most bullish of all the, uh, all the uh, you know, uh, indices that we uh, follow here. But it bounced right off of this 20, and then it retraced a little bit. So, uh, you know, tomorrow is going to be a, a big deciding factor which way this goes, because the way this looks, it could go either way still tomorrow. Uh, so a little bit of an indecision candle there. Uh, and uh, the uh, Q's is an even more of an indecision, just about a perfect doji there. You can see uh, pretty much closed right where it opened up at. And you can see the volatility throughout the day. It wasn't a, a real big candle, though, so, uh, you know, but a little bit of volatility there. And same thing, uh, we are, you know, dead smack between the uh, 20 SMA and the 50 SMA. So we'll see what tomorrow brings on that. The spiders, same story all over again. You know, got that perfect doji. Uh, we're at right smack dab between the uh, 20 and the 50, and you know a little bit of volatility, but you know not not a not a whole lot of action. You can see here a fairly low volume day as well. The diamonds, uh, you know, uh, a little more a uh, little more activity here. Uh, you know, uh, you know, not, not not that perfect doji, but it uh, is right on that 50, maybe just, uh, I'm sorry, that's the 200, just below the 200 maybe, but a little closer to it than we closed yesterday. So at least we're holding it. So, uh, but once again, you've got the inside bar formation. So let's see what happens tomorrow. The IBB. Now this is the uh, most bearish looking of all of them. We have, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, more of a, uh, you know, downstroke after it opened. Uh, you know, uh, you know, cl closed further down. Uh, you know, it is bouncing off of the uh, 200 here. Uh, you know, but it's under the 20 and it's it's above the 50 here. So. Uh, you know, same thing, uh, you know, just going to have to watch and see what these markets want to do. And a lot is uh, being controlled by what the, the news has and what the latest tweet is and things like that. So uh, you might, you know, for a day trader, it's a day trader's dream, which is pretty much what Holly is. When we get into Holly, you'll see that even though it was a uh, indecision day, that Holly had a very, very good day. Quick look at TLT. And you can see here, you know, just, um, you know, ever so slightly up. Uh, you know, we did not break yesterday's highs, though. And GLD has pulled back some more. So, uh, you know, GLD is definitely starting to look more and more bearish. Now, let's go ahead and uh, bring up our Excel spreadsheet and take a look at Holly. Uh, you know, as uh, you know, we have the three different Hollies. And each one, uh, you know, as the market closes at 4 o'clock, uh, <clears throat> they go in and they rework all the algorithms and they, they run all the calculations, uh, and all three of them do it independently, and they pick the strategies for uh, the next day. And you can see here looking at the strategies, Holly Grail had uh, these five, and Holly 2.0 had uh, these, and uh, the Holly Neo had uh, these strategies. Uh, and uh, you know, so they come to the table with different ones. And even if you see the same strategy within each of the Hollies, uh, sometimes the strategy has been tweaked a little bit differently. So it might not be the exact same, you know, strategy that you're seeing in the other one. Even though we have seen the same exact trade called in the two different Hollies uh, pretty much on the same day at the same time. But here we have the Holly Grill had 14 trades today. 
for a profit of 88 cents. Risk on profit was 94 cents. And as always, once we um, get rid of the Excel sheet here, we'll go and we'll look at some of the actual trades. The Holly 2.0 uh, had a profit of 77 cents on 29 trades and the risk on profit 541. So had you held those trades till the end of the trading day, you would have had a $5.41 profit. Uh, Holly Neal had 19 trades, 128 on the profit, but her risk on profit was only 73 cents. So the way it uh, boiled down here is we had 62 trades today. We had a profit of 293 and a risk on profit of 708. Not bad considering the market pretty much uh, was a, a doji day and uh, you know not much change from open to close. For the week, we're sitting at 73 trades, $6.30 profit, risk on profit, $11.82. So, so that's uh, a, a pretty good day for Holly. Uh, and I just want to uh, you know let you know that you do have access to this software through monthly and yearly subscription plans. Uh, so uh, I invite you to you know go to the link that you're seeing right here, and it is case sensitive. So if you go to that link, I will actually paste a little longer link into the uh, YouTube video comments if you just want to copy and paste that. Or if you want to, you know, take a screenshot or write this down. But it is case sensitive, so make sure that you're very careful with that. And you can use, uh, get the standard plan. Now, the standard plan does not include the Holly and some of the advanced features that we're showing you. The premium plan does. Uh, and if you use Bullseye 15, you'll save 15% on your first month or your first year. So I invite you to go ahead and try out our software. It is uh, amazing. It'll pay for itself uh, almost overnight. Uh, and you can follow me at my blog at bullseyetrader.com. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or StockTwits. If you like this video, got anything out of it, do me a favor, go ahead, hit this thumbs up. And if you see fit, go ahead, even put a comment in the comment section. If it's the first time you're seeing this video, uh, join our uh, subscribers and go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you never miss, uh, miss one. I want to thank you for watching today and God bless.